Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa, and today I'm coming to you with a very fun project. I, I think it's extremely fun. Um, and I'm gonna show you how you can mass make these vellum flip up journaling spots. So cute. I have attached them with either sewing them or uh, stamping with sewing stitches. And I've also attached them with a little tiny stapler. So even if you don't want to sew or don't have a sewing machine or stamps, um, you can do a staple. Really easy, really easy to do. So I'm going to show you how to do that out of some vellum, some cardstock, and a few little cutouts of floral or mushrooms, butterflies, uh, labels, etc. So uh, this is truly a fun project, and like I said, easy to mass make these, uh, make a ton of them in an afternoon. They make a great tag or even a pocket to attach to your journal and then be able to stick a tag in the side or a smaller tag in the top. So very versatile and very quick to make. So stay tuned to see how this works and hopefully I'll see you at the end of the video. All right, so let's get right to how to make those beautiful, beautiful things. So I've taken some of the stuff and already pre-done it just because it's so much easier and faster than me getting my clunky big old cutters out and things like that. So I took one 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. It's a beigey color. It's fairly sturdy on its own. And I cut them into, I cut it in half six inches. And then I took this and I cut it into three and a half inch strips. So I did have a little bit of strip left over. It wasn't exactly divisible into the 12 by 12, but I thought the three and a half inch tag ends up being a nice size, so I like that. So um, again, these are six by three and a half. Then I took a 12 by 12 piece of vellum and I cut these down. I cut the strips down to uh, three and a quarter by four and a half. So you can do it either way. You can cut four and a half inch strips and then cut down to three and a quarter or vice versa. You do end up with extra stuff again that I can use for some other project, but I made these three and a quarter because I want them just slightly smaller than the three and a half inch bag. All right, so I have uh, pre-folded and pre-done some already, but I'm gonna show you how I did each, did one individually, and then we can go to having some fun. All right, so first off, I am going to take my corner rounder you don't have to corner round, I just think it looks nice and finished that way. I'm going to take the biggest size for this. Now, my punch will not cut corners on vellum. It just doesn't like it. So I put the vellum on top of my cardstock and I punch them together and that works. Shifted it down to do that side. And now that is rounded in the bottom. I'm not gonna round the top because it gets hidden underneath the flap. And then I'm just gonna round the other two sides. So I got four sides rounded on my three and a half by six beige. And I just got the two sides rounded on that. All right, so we're gonna take our beige guy and we are going to score it at one and a quarter. Okay, I'll tell you why we did it one and a quarter. So I'm gonna fold it over and do it. All right, so this was six. Oh, my fingers can't work here. This is four and a half. So I did it at four and a quarter so that again, it is just slightly up. So it gives a bit of a very similar border around each part of it. Because if I did it at the one and a half, um, it would have been down there and I didn't like it. So one and a quarter score to make the top. Now this is why it makes it so easy to mass make these because you can cut all your strips, do all your scoring, and then do all the inking, um, all in just a few minutes. All right, so I'm gonna ink this. I'm gonna ask you how your day's going. It is officially the first day of fall here. Yippee! <laughs> it is a nice, sunny, beautiful day. I went out earlier and very pretty out, yes. Do a little bit of the inside there. So it is nice. Okay. 
Now, if you want to, you can ink the edge of the vellum a little bit. Because that will just, I hate the sound of it crinkling. I hope it's not too annoying for you. It's like click, 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 click. Okay. I don't know, maybe my saying click was more annoying. Okay. So that way it is fully grunged all the way around. Okay, we are not going to attach this together yet. We are going to decorate this flip up flap. Okay, so you gotta think this in terms of um, reverse order of what you would normally decorate in. Get my glue book here. Let's get a nice, nice clean sheet. Okay, so normally, um, Let's start with the butter butterflies. Yeah, those are butterflies, Lisa. Let's start with the mushroom. Now, um, I forgot to, I should have backed these before I fussy cut them, but normally you glue them down and you don't notice. I do have some flowers that were printed, so it's not gonna be a problem. But I do have a way to fix that if there's something on the back, or like I said, I could have um, put some paper white paper on there or something just to get rid of that or if you don't care when you flip it up and you see it then don't worry about it all right so normally you would decorate let me find my let's get a little book page here that was a really bad rip not sure what that was but it's a bad rip <laughs> All right, so normally you would decorate and you would say glue that down and glue that on top and let's find a, let's find a little tag to put with it. And let's see, this will work. Snip and dip. Snip the corners, dip it into the ink pad. Snip and dip. All right, so normally you would do this, and you throw that behind there, front, depending on how you want it, and you would glue that first, glue that first, glue that first. But because we are going to put it on the back side of our little flip up, we need to glue in reverse. So, and on the top. So you kind of kind of go, wait, this is a little weird. So we're gonna start with this because I wanted that on the top. I'm covering up whatever that is because I don't like it. Me no like. All right, so we're gonna take and put a bit of glue there. And we're gonna do our best, best to approximate where that was gonna be. Whoa, don't stick, don't stick, don't stick. I think it's gonna look good right there, a little straighter. Okay, now the trick with vellum is you have to be patient to make sure it sticks and not go overboard with the glue stick because it wet wettens the vellum and it makes it want to curl. So we're gonna make sure it is fully down before we go on. All right, so the next layer would have been this one, which we're gonna have to put in. I put that too far, so we're gonna have to adjust on the fly. I think that'll work. Okay, so we're gonna throw some glue on here. And we're gonna lay this on top of it right approximately there and just straighten it a little. And again, we're gonna rub, rub, rub. Now I have tried using other glues, Fabri-Tac, uh, what do you call it? Our glitter glue. I don't like the way it looks. Usually you can do this glue and you don't really even see it. You can see a little bit there, but it's gonna dry. Okay, so far so good. All right, so this guy is gonna go 
right in the back there. And the, really the only reason I'm doing that is just to kind of cover up a bit of this mess of a word. So, okay. So again, we're gonna, we're gonna put the glue, glue on the top. And then we're gonna aim for the back. get that straight. Beautiful. Okay. So yeah, you kind of got to think, think in reverse of what you normally would do, but totally doable. Cute. Okay, so let's get this a little bit out of the way. And this. So this is going to go on here. And Right, so there's several options to finish the top. So one option, and this one was done earlier, is I sewed around it. And you can see that's where I put the paper on there with the to cover up that same wording. And you can see it's a little bit a little bit crinkly, but it is definitely not anything you can't worry about. So very cute. So yeah, so you can sew around this, or if you don't have a sewing machine, there's several ways you can do it. Um, I do have some stamp images that are sewing threads, or you can use a stapler. Um, I'm going to do a staple on the first one here, and we're going to open this up. Now you don't want to staple all through. Now some of those, like if you do those matchbook things where you staple it, uh, but then you can't flip it up all the way. So I want to open it up and I'm going to look from the back here just to make sure it's centered on the flap and just ever so slightly down. And again, the reason it's ever so slightly down is because you want to have room on the bottom. So you could probably put it a little closer to the top. That'll be fine. Give it some room. But even there. All right, so I'm going to turn this upside down and staple it this way. Okay, got that one. And then we're going to flip it over. Make sure it's in there. And we're going to staple that side. Now I used um, these this tiny stapler I have its oldest. I've got colored um, staples in there. They got brown first and some red coming up. So I'm doing the fall stuff. And there you go. Now to decorate on there, like I said, put anything you want on there. Um, this first one I did some some little labels. Again, if you wanted to put some of the little stitching and stamps, you could do that. I think I might do that because I. nice to have something down there so I'm gonna do I have to look at this side to see what they look like um, mushrooms swervy 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 I think the swervy might be fun all right and I'm just gonna use the since I have it out my vintage photo but you could definitely do any color stitching you'd like on there. And there we go. Yeah, cute. I got a little ink on this side here. Yeah. I think if I put it on that side, it might be a little too much. Maybe I'll put a little, 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 little bit. There we go. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Okay. All right, now, so I'm going to put some sort of label across the top. Some sort of complete general list. You're a little long. You are a little bit long. So, bum, bum. let's see. Telephone number. Tiny, tiny, 
What do you call natural history and bookseller? I think I like that. Okay, so we're gonna do that, and I think we'll find a tiny label. Let's see. Oh, go this way. And I think I might stick with the red and then just have it overlap a little. Yeah. That will work. Whoops, take it with me. It'll work for me. Okay. I think put that up here. And then we're gonna. My fingers are just not picking stuff up today. is a little thicker so we use the art glitter glue all right so if you haven't subscribed to my channel and checked it out yet I still have the 1,000 subscriber giveaway going on it is very close to finishing I'm getting quite excited we have giving away one of my journals yeah this is cute I probably should have put some book page up a little higher but all right, so there we go. Now if I want to, I'll probably put some washi tape back here. That might be a good idea with the staples. So let us, I got some natural wood. That could be good. A little bit thicker. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Well, I was probably gonna put some glue on there, but now I'm not, because I stuck it down. And I'm not gonna wrap it around. I'm gonna cut it off. Yeah, so we're getting really close to that thousand subscriber. So if you haven't checked out that video, it's linked in the description. Um, go ahead and hit up that video and comment away so you can be entered to win. I'm hoping it'll be rolled over uh, by the end of the week. Took a little longer than I thought. Um, I put it up earlier than I wanted to, but I was, was gaining a bunch of flower followers kind of quickly because of one video. And I didn't want to post it afterwards, but then right after I posted it, it kind of it caught itself up again. So we're back to a normal ad. This is so cute, I love it. All right, and a little washi tape on the back just to cover that up so you don't scratch yourself. Place to write, stick it inside of a pocket. Very cute. Or, I mean, I guess you could, true if you wanted to, glue it to sides, make a side tuck. You'd still be able to flip it up and right there. Glue it three sides, make it into a little pocket. Very cute. All right, so let's have some more fun. All right, let's do a flower this time. All right, throw a little, a little decor on here. That'll be beautiful. All right, so and I picked brighter flowers because you want to see through the vellum. And that definitely sees through, but that might be a little bit bigger than. I mean, I'm not upset that it tucks in. But are these too small? I kind of like that one. All right, why don't we take a look to see what kind of background I might want to put on it and that might <laughs> I printed some more freebies I found off it also if you haven't seen that video go check that out there's cute ones I found with the ladies with the um, what do you call it patterns art the art scavenger.com they've got some great great freebies on their uh, site so Check them out if you have not seen that video, or if you have, go back and check out and do some more downloading. All right. I have way too much fussy cutting I still need to do. Get those out of the way. Get them 
out of the way. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that's got a flower and a flower. Is it too repetitive? Might be a little too repetitive. I like this color with that. Maybe still just a little bit big, a little bit smaller than that. board back here. We can kind of get a layout of what we want to do. Kind of miscut this a little too much white on the outside. There we go. Okay, so we'll put the apples down. And we'll put that down. And we got to make sure we don't drop them up too high. If we want it to be underneath the flap, we got to make sure it is, um, you know, a little bit lower down. Flower. Maybe a little book page back there. Just to anchor it. And a little tag right under there. What I'm going to do is I'm end up maybe putting this on. I wonder if I put that on top because it's a little thicker. I do like that underneath. Just a little hint of the shape. It's just kind of tiny. And I don't know if it gets lost behind the in the world of vellum. Whereas this guy does not get lost. block the word apples from cottontail. Since it is flowers. Whoops. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Drop it down just a little. All right, and then you are going to go right there. Stuck my fingers too much. And you're going to go up on there. Okay. Those two started. So yeah, you can see it's it takes a little bit extra just to get them laid down, um, being you have to do it in reverse. Uh, but I think the effect is well worth it. 
Now I'm going to use the bone folder to kind of make sure the part between them is stuck good. Almost like doing a rub on, but it's not going to come off. <laughs> ah. Okay, so now we're going to do the flower. right about there. And you can kind of see when it's starting to, it pulls a little bit away from the vellum. It likes to curl, like I said, away from it. You can kind of see it lift a little bit because um, it gets a little wider. I'm sure it's impossible to see on the camera, but um, it's just a little lighter when it is pulled off of the vellum to make it stick. And there we go. Okay, so this guy has to go next. I think I'm going to do this side because I didn't like some words that were on the other side. Okay, and then we're gonna do this one and push them all together. All right, so flower. Yeah, and the other nice thing about using the stick glue is you do have a bit of time to shift it. And as I see, that's a little crooked, but might be too late. Okay, too late. So you can kind of see how it's whiter here. And then I press it down. It kind of looks like if you've done, if you've done rub-ons, it gets a little bit darker. Kind of like you're rubbing it off, but you're rubbing it on. So it's a good way to tell if it's sticking or pulling away like this one. That's okay. It's also drying a little bit, so that does get a little bit lighter as it dries. Okay. Yeah. Cute. All right, so that one is going to go in there. A little bit higher than I probably would have liked, but it'll be okay. And um, I think I'm going to end up sewing this one. So what I did for when I sewed these just so that they got, um, they stayed in there while I sewed, is I just threw a little, little glue across the top there, just to hold it in place, so that I would know when I go to sew it, that it's correct. And doesn't start swimming around on me. All right, so this is why you can, I can, this is a perfect example why I don't use this on the vellum that you see. Because as you see it, it's not pretty. But again, this will be underneath, no problem. Throw some washi tape on there if I absolutely hate it. But this way, when I go to sew it, it'll be fine. Now I did, I'll show you this one. Because uh, I, I won't sew on camera, I'll sew off camera. Um, what I did is I opened it up and sewed around this so the stitching is on in here because again if you sew here you're going to show the sew the pocket shut and we didn't want to do that we want to have a complete flip out, flip out for that so all right so i'm gonna make sure that this it's stuck it looks like it's not but it's stuck all right so we will sew that in a bit all right let's make another one these are fun all right, so I do. I did a mushroom and a flower, and I do have some butterflies somewhere. There. Now the only thing is, I grabbed heavier Karasaki butterflies, and I'm not sure how well they're going to want to stick to these. I think I'll do the red one. So this will be an experiment to see how well it works. But I like how that looks through there, so I think we're gonna go with it. And be cute. 
out. All right, ink this a little. Put that on there like that. Put it like that. That might be just enough for that. Oh, you know what I didn't do on that? I didn't put anything on top of that. So I'm going to put this on the back of that, and then we will put two things on the top of that. Let's see if that works. Like that. And let's see. I think those are some fun, fun possible toppers for those. Yeah, let's go. Let's see what we can do with those. Okay, so I think the butterfly is going to go pretty much like that. So this should be interesting to glue. Like normally, we use the, our glitter glue to hold these because they're so thick. work out and I don't like it well then that's again just a couple pieces of paper and one butterfly <laughs> all right so we're gonna get some you see I almost did that like such a habit it's like so weird gluing on the top of something than it is to glue seconds to be able to straighten it. Okay. And we'll just don't want to press too hard on here because vellum, I've worked with vellum before I have a piece here. Um, if you press too hard, you can um, scratch vellum, especially if it, it bends. Um, it'll get a line on there and it, you can't get rid of it once it's once you've uh, bent it or creased it That line is there so, Don't want to do it too hard, but yet Yeah, cute 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 cute. I like it. Okay, so you are gonna go in here And I think I think I think I'm gonna ink. I think I'm gonna ink this one with got these pretty flowers that would be cute with the butterfly so there I'm like where did my stand go I forgot to forgot to take my swirlies off and I'm thinking maybe I want to find a red all right how about fired brick let's try a little fired brick I'm only stamping part of this. Get this out of the way. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, that'd be cute. I actually might still throw a little staple on there. Maybe on an angle. Oh yeah, that's really cute. Okay, so. Almost lost my butterfly. All right, let's get you guys out of there. All right, so. I want to angle it that way. It's gonna go. There we go. It got a little less straight there for a second. Okay. And we'll do the same over here. little farther in than I probably would have liked, but that'll work. And I'll throw again a little some all washi tape. I might as well just use this. I have it out. And I know it's the right size. And this time I'll go throw a little glue. Because I remembered. <laughs> Unlike last time. There we go. So, a little bit of toppers here. I'm going to sew that one. So, bottom of this but we're gonna get rid of it could have just been a miscut you before but I think you're a little too big I don't mind you but I think I need something below you oh. looks like I need to print some of these red ones out again <laughs> are uh, Tracy Fox labels that um, I have printed out on sticker paper just to make it that much easier to attach. Upside down. Yeah, cute. Love that. Love that stamp, that is very cute. Our garbage. All right, so for this one, it's just a little bigger than I would like. Let's see if I'm gonna sew around it. If I get a little bit smaller. And you know, I think, well, I'm sure it has fallen away, but there was. Was that green tag, but oh, is that you? 
like it's gonna answer me. Is it you? I'm not mad about it, but I'm not totally, totally so maybe now on that 17. I think I like that better. Sorry, 1757 to 1822. Okay. And art glitter glue, because you guys are a little bit thicker than I would like. And yeah, make sure I stay away from the total edge so I can sew it. Way too late now. Oh no. There we go. Oof. Yay. <laughs> Yay for not too late. Yeah. Alright, so I'll sew around that one. And that's been thing so. I think that would be silly, but this might actually go with this pretty good. We'll see if I can work on that one. All right. I mean, that's not too bad. Do I have to put a flower or a butterfly or something on there? No. I don't have to. if you normally did it on a tag, so why can't it be peeking through? Save that for the top. Okay. All right, so... We are going to do that like that. Keep that a row. All right, so. I couldn't remember which way I had the angle going. It was that way. was a bit of a mind faux pas. Okay. Oh my. I'm guessing we'll be needing a new glue stick here soon. Okay, when it fully dries. All 
right. Okay, do I want anything else on this? Let me just... Sticking out would be cute. All right, straighten that out a little bit and did it again, trying to flip it over. So I'm going to just do that little bit of a glue down for this so I can stitch it. With another let's see what do we got what do we got what do we have Okay. Yeah. Yeah, put that over here. Because I got the label on that side, and we're just gonna have that come off of there and a little thicker, so our glitter glue. Right there. Okay. All right. So I am going to, like I said, go off camera and I'm going to sew these two and I will be right back with the finished product. All right, I am back with the last two. And you can see I stitched them. This one I started out with a very tiny zigzag, did a little straight, zigzagged it. I thought it needed something delicate because of the delicate rows. And then this one, I did the zigzag a little thicker, bigger, because the bunny would be a bigger hop. <laughs> so I have that one, and then the other ones that we did, I did this one on camera with the butterfly. Uh, we did the stamping stitching with the staple and I did this one on camera we also did the staples and the stamping and then this one I did first off off camera with also the sewing so fun all right well that is going to be it for me today I truly hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be able to go ahead and go out and mass make these for yourselves um, I think they're going to be very fun to do like I said I'm stick them in a pocket uh, attach them to your page so you have a side tuck um, or you can do a little side tuck, a little tuck in the top, something like that or um, send it off for a happy mail because that's a happy little happy little tag. All right that's it for me today. If you like the video a thumbs up would be awesome and if you haven't subscribed to my channel like I said earlier, go ahead and do that and track down that thousand subscriber video so you can enter to win my bee journal that I'm giving away. Okay, 
that's going to be it for me today. As usual, have a wonderful and creative day. Bye now.